I haven't made an update in a while. And if you've been wondering where I've been, um, a little earlier in the summer, around June, I made a little mention of the fact that my cat had cancer. And in the first week of August, he passed. This is Ollie about two days before he passed away. He was very lively. So he took a turn very quickly after this. And he passed on his own, which was very special. But he's gone and I have felt like shit. So today I wanted to share experiences on what happens when you're grieving and how can you take care of yourself. During my time caring for Ollie, I didn't exercise the way I love to exercise. I'm a pretty active person. Um, I ate whatever was convenient. That was a lot of takeout. Sometimes it was Domino's pizza because that was what was available and I just needed a break. And let me tell you, sometimes it is what it is. You don't have to pick on yourself when you get into these emergency modes and you're just eating whatever makes you feel better. That's gonna happen, even when you're a dietitian with a master's degree. And now, with the grief, you know, some days I don't want to get out of bed. I am currently in bed. My compromise today was that I could go and stay in bed all day if I wanted to, but I had to get myself up and have a breakfast, and I made it balanced so there was a protein, there was lots of fruits, there were some vegetables, so that I am still taking care of myself, even if I am staying in bed all day. I made myself some very easy, very gentle physical activity goals. One time a week stuff to just get me started again. I've had enough energy to take care of my patients, go to work, and feed myself, do a little bit of exercise, but the social media and the marketing and the newsletter stuff, I just let that go. I, I gave myself permission to just be quiet this month because the energy is not there. This is a part of life. These things are going to happen. And the best thing you can do for yourself is to be kind and patient. If you feel like in these times you're not taking care of yourself, it's going a little too far. You can make small steps, little goals. Eat your breakfast in the morning. Exercise for 10 minutes once a week. Look for a favorite fruit or a favorite vegetable and add it to your meals. Be kind to yourself. You will get through it.